guys welcome back to sussex squad forever i hope you're all having an amazing day and today we're going to be talking about pierce morgan's mm. weird obsession with megan markle honestly from all the things we've been seeing we have just come to the conclusion that this guy is obsessed mm. with megan mm. honestly it's insane what do you think it really is a weird weird obsession i mean the amount of times this man is talking about megan markle it's crazy it's every it's, segment of this his. person must talk about megan markle it is just a weird weird obsession it has and it just it, it it arises a question in your head where you're like why is this man this much obsessed with megan markle yeah why is it why is it so we dug this up you know we have a few theories it. we tell you why we think this man is this delusional and this obsessed with megan markle yeah. because mm -hmm. it's something that's not from recent days it's yeah. happened from way back when when she was still acting in suits yeah yeah around 2016 2017 mm -hmm. so yeah i have this article where this person actually said this even more correctly i feel like this is the perfect way to have put it mm -hmm. so it basically says that this obsession that Piers Morgan has with Meghan Markle mm -hmm. is not just a case of journalist honing in on one woman mm -hmm. it is more than that yeah so Piers Morgan had known Meghan Markle from suits and then uh, basically describes a virtual friendship because this is from Piers Morgan's mouth yeah. you cannot trust what which he could says. be a lie it could be a lie <laughs> and it's been proven you know as well man. that they actually did not meet because Piers Morgan says they met yeah and then soon afterwards Meghan Markle went and met Prince Harry while she was in the UK within yeah, that yeah, yeah. brief period of time yeah and met Meghan and met Prince Harry sorry and that's when Meghan Markle ghosted him apparently this is what he is saying you uh -huh. know we do not know if this yeah. is the case or not mm -hmm. So it, it basically just says, says that Meghan Markle started to distance herself from Piers Morgan mm -hmm. and he says, Piers Morgan this is, that I really liked her which is why it hurts. I just think she's a slight social climber, I'm afraid. That's when the digs had started. Before, he was saying how Meghan Markle is an amazing, you know, just yeah. admiring, she's so beautiful, saying things like, I'm only going to attend, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Piper Middleton wedding wedding just to see what Meghan Markle is going to look like. Yeah. Just being, saying just creepy yeah. things from afar. He actually but, said this. You know, it, it, it was like complimenting her, but it was done so often that it was like, okay, now relax you old man you're mm -hmm. being creepy now it's verging on the line of creepy it was just like this weird obsession he had with her yeah where he was just like complimenting megan this was the whole of 2016 2017 yeah whereby there are many many it many actually started tweets. in 2015 2015 yeah oh okay so it's been a while a long while mm -hmm. and then we just wanted to understand where did this shift come in yeah where did this shift come in where all of a sudden megan knuckle is now a social climber yeah. it's like where just so this person says that because uh Piers Morgan says that Meghan Markle mm -hmm. ghosted him after that. Mm -hmm. That is apparently where the shift came. Mm -hmm. The shift came. Mm -hmm. and so, so when he clearly wasn't getting what he wanted in return, he seemed to switch, no longer referring to her as the friend. Mm -hmm. He uh, professed throughout 2016, throughout 2017, but a grasping, selfish, scheming Kardashian wannabe and narcissistic whiny brat. Just all of a sudden, now because you've been rejected, mm -hmm. because this person doesn't want anything to do with you, mm -hmm. because from what I've read, they met at a function that was promoting suits in the UK. Yeah. It wasn't one-on-one. -on -one. It yeah. was a function where they were promoting. And obviously, having heard Piers Morgan t talk, and of that, no one would want to associate with this man. Yeah, no, I wouldn't would. want to be known as this man's friend, as yeah, it's being it's together it's or, mm -hmm. you know. So Megan Markle rightfully decided to distance herself from this mm -hmm. man. Yeah. So this was when it started getting crazy, and mm -hmm. he just started attacking her. Verbally, every time that he called, he just started this, and this is about this whole situation mm -hmm. like pierce morgan has a platform of millions to badmouth a woman whose criticism came from the fact that she ghosted him after meeting a literal prince yeah. you know his entire basis of disliking her comes from her unwillingness to uh to entertain a friendship or even romantic 
relationship with him and it's a phenomenon women know too well like yeah. when you reject somebody all of a sudden you go from being this brilliant amazing person mm -hmm. who i would like to know how to being uh you're being bad mouth or talked about yeah. in a friend group to the friends to whoever yeah. would listen mm -hmm. we know this phenomenon too too well yeah so it's just he, Piers Morgan t took it to another level whereby he's not just but nothing Megan to friends he's to but nothing Megan to the entire world Honestly. to his whole fan base or to everyone who listens to him mm -hmm. he just took it the extra step which is which is just crazy to me Honestly mm -hmm. Piers Morgan is just <clears throat> There's actually this tweet of him. I'm going to read you a couple of mm, his tweets from yes, 2015. <laughs> he went there. He mm. tweeted, brilliant article at Meghan Markle. And then he posted a link yes. of Meghan Markle's mm -hmm. uh, article. Mm -hmm. Another tweet, mm -hmm. uh, which he posted in 2016, mm -hmm. after he met Meghan Markle at that event, he mm -hmm. went to say, great to finally meet you too at Meghan Markle. Just wished we jigged at uh, Scarsdale. Mm -hmm. Missed opportunity. This guy, someone get him off Twitter. What is he tweeting? <laughs> is he tweeting? Uh, another no tweet he said is, is it wrong mm. that my sole interest in Pippa Middleton's wedding is what at Meghan Markle yes. wears? So we can see, guys, this man mm -hmm. has been obsessed mm -hmm. with Meghan For since he watched time. Suits. Mm -hmm. And then, wait, isn't he a married man, first off? You know, he's not a bunch of ex-wives. Now I don't even know his whole situation. But it comes down to he's just a creepy old man. He's a he's creepy, creepy old he, man he who saw is. a beautiful woman mm. and tried to make advances. Mm -hmm. Why would you even think you have a chance with Meghan Markle? It's the audacity. Where is this man getting his audacity Where is he getting from? His audacity, and know. then when he was rejected, mm. that's when the 360 came yes. about. That's Honestly. when it came about. And then I feel no. like you have to ask yourself, like, what is he gaining from this? What is he, like, fighting so hard for? What is he actually doing? Because is it the right not to, like, critique the royal family mm. in his extreme, like, attempts to quell Meghan and Harry's experience, which literally only they have, yeah. you know? He seems to want to silence allegations of racism against the monarchy from the only biracial woman who has a first-hand experience of being part of it? Yeah. As in, why on earth? This is a good question. I feel like every one of those haters, everyone who listens to Piers Morgan, everyone who is just against Meghan Markle, ask yourself this. Mm -hmm. Why on earth would we listen to a white man with no part in the royal family over a black woman who has been in it? Part of the royal who family. Who has lived through that whole experience. Piers Morgan we take is his just, word at it. Mm -hmm. Piers Morgan is just a bitter old man. Someone here on Twitter says, mm -hmm. we know Piers Morgan mm -hmm. is a narcissist, sad, mm -hmm. misogynistic mm -hmm. bully mm -hmm. who can dish it out I but guess. can't take it back. Mm -hmm. He's saying Harry should apologize to his family. Is he going to apologize for the harassment, misogyny mm -hmm. and bullying of Meghan Markle? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Honestly, there's actually this clip of... Mm -hmm. His show, mm -hmm. you know, his morning show, and uh, one of the his um, one of the people he was hosting it with was like, why she, he wanted to know why he actually hates Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. He went on to say like, why is it that mm -hmm. every time you sit here, you talk about how you hate Meghan Markle why? so much? Yes, why? And guess what? Piers Morgan did mm -hmm. instead of answering that question, mm -hmm. he stormed off like a child. Yeah. He stormed no off like answer. a child. Nothing. Honestly, they, because he has no, he has reason. no reason. He has no reason. He has no He's just reason. a man whose ego was bruised mm -hmm. because he can't take no for an answer yes. honestly yes. after tweeting how he likes megan markle how he does this and that he actually went on to say how he was so hurt megan markle ghosted him because he liked her boy <laughs> Bye. why did you even <laughs> think you had a chance with such a beautiful kind and intelligent Please. woman Please. judging from all the things we've mm. seen pierce morgan posting mm -hmm. about he's a hater and narcissist yes. someone who's work is just to put down women mm -hmm. and he actually thought Meghan Markle would even give him a look mm. just come on Piers Morgan grow up grow up <laughs> learn to take no for an answer yes. it's because of men like this that women don't even feel safe mm -hmm. just take no for an answer like go a man why are you being a way. child about it mm. talking about here now he's using his platform to spread hate about mm. Meghan mm -hmm. just because she rejected mm. you grow up Grow up, man. Grow I feel up. Like 
yeah i feel like that is actually you know it's the truth and i feel like another person who is behind the woods also fueling this is the queen consort herself queen camilla ah no she no she no. is the one wrecker camilla please <laughs> okay sorry sorry homebreaker yes camilla is the one who is fueling this as well because we see time and time again and you know these photos they don't lie yeah. these videos they don't lie mm. because these people are always together you will see the queen camilla in her parties always inviting pierce morgan Piers Morgan to come so that they can sit down and collude together and talk about ways in which they can continue to spread misinformation and hate towards Meghan Markle and Prince yeah. Harry. And also, also another vile human being known as Jeremy Clarkson oh was gosh. seen together with these people. You know, first of all, just seeing that name leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Clarkson we all know we all know that article he wrote about megan markle which was just vile beyond words yeah vile 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 beyond words saying how she should be paraded naked in front of people honestly in front of people this is someone's this is a mother with children at home this is a woman a woman honestly it was just a vile vile attack and these people are together what other evidence do people need honestly. that this is a collusion these are people who are conspirators they are working together colluding. the royal family always always ever colluding which is why when people are saying apparently king charles and prince william they should make an effort to get along with prince harry they should try and mend fences how will they mend fences when queen camilla is there yeah you should be like oh, how how yeah. you know, i'm mm -hmm. the one who's running this family i'm the one who is making sure that these people will never get along because that is what it will it will destroy the 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 whole establishment that she has built basically yeah because she's the one who has the power controlling the king mm -hmm. in one year acting like a mother to prince william and whoever and just controlling the news the leaks all the information we know this so the fact that they're all together this a miserable means a party. party to celebrate what Honestly, what? they're just going to have tea and mm. talk ill of Megan and Harry. Yes. We all know because people have nothing else to talk about. Uh, you just want to spew hate about mm -hmm. people who are living happily. Mm. Honestly, people who are living their lives. We actually saw that they went on a date. Yeah, yeah, it's looking so glamorous. Date. Yeah, oh honestly, simple and chic and honestly, happy and, and happy. smiling. Oh, yeah, and it's just, just proof that these people's words. Will not make them not love affect, each other less. Or make them yeah. love each other less. That is just mm -hmm. outside noise, mm. and they're going to let them talk. Mm, but talk. Harry mm. and Meghan have let their actions speak, yes, speak for the themselves. Actions will be speaking Honestly, for themselves. the fact mm. that Camilla mm -hmm. hosted this vulgar mm. man to as them. a woman, mm. hosting, instead of supporting your fellow we, woman, you're putting them down. You are just putting them aiding down. this misogynistic yes. and narcissist man. Who mm -hmm. sole work is just to put down mm -hmm. a woman who's done nothing mm. but uplift other women. Yes. Kami and is she's the person they've actually crowned. Mm. Someone who can't even support someone who's a member of her family. Mm -hmm. A woman who's a member of her family. Mm. How is she expected to support other women? Other women? How? Oh, it's impossible. It Honestly, she cannot do that. She cannot do she that. Cannot. Please she not cannot. buy whatever image they try to sell you of Queen Camilla. And then again, if Don't she had the it. audacity mm -hmm. to sleep with someone's husband. There's nothing be, be beneath that woman. This she woman's just whole shameless. life has been working towards this moment where she was crowned queen. Yeah, yeah. Her whole Honestly. life, everything she's done. Yeah. And she's achieved a goal. She's achieved a goal and now she's celebrating. Taking Pierce Morgan out, Jeremy Clarkson out. Obviously, it's she's insane. celebrating because, I mean, what can you do to her? She's now the queen, the queen consort. She's now yeah. at that position of power she's always wanted. She's not even the queen consort. So what can you she do? She was crowned queen. She was crowned queen, Audacity. you know? So, so what 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 exactly can we do? She's achieved everything she's ever wanted because of how vindictive she is, because yeah. of how manipulative she is. Mm. She's had a strategy this whole time, and it's worked. It's worked. It's not yeah. that people are beginning to open their eyes and saying, yeah. "Oh my God, these people are actually colluding." Yeah. Oh my God, it's like, are you shocked? Yeah. People Honestly. didn't believe when Prince Harry was saying Queen Camilla was the evil person. That person they thought that marriage. Prince Harry was just trying to be bitter, trying to break apart the royal family, but, but he was saying see. the truth. Mm -hmm. Now you can actually see mm -hmm. that it is fact. It is fact that true, this true, woman true. is behind everything. Honestly. Behind everything. And, you know, it's just the question that we've been asking ourselves, why is Piers Morgan obsessed with Meghan this way? No, it's just simple. A scumbag is always going to be a scumbag. 
that Honestly. is what this Piers Morgan is. He's an evil he couldn't person. Couldn't take no for an answer. Could not and fuel that rage. He now that they've rage. made it into a uh, like money making machine. Where about they're always going to spread lies about Megan, yeah. spread hate about Megan, and earn their coins. And just earn from there. That's yeah. all they're going to do. And this is someone's mm-hmm. life they're mm. ruining by spreading all this hate. Yes. Piers Morgan grow up mm. grow up mm-hmm. and find something better to find do something honestly to do with your life. just stop it stop it <sighs> i'm so glad i hope he goes to jail first off mm. for lying on the stand that mm-hmm. for perjury mm. he said that he didn't know about the hacking allegations now we know you were there. he was aware you were aware now we know he was aware <laughs> huh? yes honestly pierce mm-hmm. morgan needs to go behind bars mm-hmm. all women in the world should be kept kept safe mm-hmm. from this lunatic mm. because Piers Morgan just why would you just telling lies and hate mm-hmm. spread because you couldn't take no for an answer <laughs> grow up mm. Piers Morgan mm-hmm. grow up yes so yes. I feel like we're just uh, concluding by you know we're happy that the, this the devil always gets his due. They are getting their due yeah. now. now. It is happening. Mm-hmm. The case with Prince Harry just bringing out to light yeah. the fact that these people are have always been colluding. Mm-hmm. These people have been purposefully spreading uh, lies against them, receiving mm-hmm. information, private information against them in unlawful ways. Mm-hmm. They've actually broken the law, so their dues are coming to them. Yeah. They are getting them, and Pierce Morgan is just an old misogynistic, angry bitter. man, bitter, bitter, bitter. Mm-hmm. angry man with nothing better to do yeah. in the face of this beautiful gorgeous woman who has power who is living her life and living it to the fullest mm-hmm. and just excelling and being happy that yeah. is Megan Markle and yeah. it, it pains them it infuriates them yeah, and I love that because they're just so angry. bitter mm-hmm. and they're trying whatever they can however they can to you know bring them down but that's not working it's clearly not working. it's not working it's not changing who they are to yeah. their core mm-hmm. Megan Markle and Prince Harry are always going to be amazing people yeah. who are just living their lives and being happy and us our work here we are going to bring these people down yeah. let me tell you Pierce Morgan and the rest of them we are going to bring them down because yeah. they they just they are awful people they are awful people. honestly and we all know someone's character mm-hmm. is spoken a great deal mm-hmm. by the people they surround themselves Closest with to them, yes. so Camila mm-hmm. uh, colluding with this mm-hmm. narcissistic misogynistic mm-hmm. People who like to bring women down. Those mm-hmm. are the crowds that she's keeping. Yes. We can see the type of woman we she know. is. We can see. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it. leave mm-hmm. a comment down below mm. what you think about the homewrecker mm. and his misogynistic colluders. Mm, friends. Yeah. Yes, Morgan. What do you think about yeah. these people? So leave mm-hmm. a comment down below. And mm-hmm. thank you guys so much for tuning in to yes. today's video. So we to hope us. to see you guys in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye, guys.